We're here at ITU Telecom World 2015 in Budapest, in Hungary, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Ngeni Gituko, who is the chairman of the Communications Authority of Kenya. Mr. Gituko, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about the theme of ITU Telecom World 2015 is accelerating innovation for social impact. How do you see ICT innovation directly impacting on socioeconomic development in Kenya? Thank you very much. Um, because basically ICT now in Kenya has changed the way we do things. It's changed so much that uh, even on the social front, for example, um, the use of uh, social media, um, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, you know, WhatsApp and all the other things, uh, they are being used by young people to communicate, to criticize the government where necessary. So it's opening up democratic space. On the commercial side, in terms of business, uh, the mobile money uh, transfer, has also changed a lot of things that happen in Kenya. I'll tell you for sure that today, a lot of people do not leave their houses. They operate from their houses. If you have a small uh, business uh, somewhere and you have construction sites and so on, people base, you send money through M-Pesa, so you don't have to leave here. So it has really a big effect on the social economic side. And what uh, measures can government and industry take to encourage entrepreneurship and, and foster the growth of SMEs in the ICT sector? And in particular, what is the government of Kenya doing towards this? Yes, well, I would uh, say both the government of Kenya and the regulator where I come in, because basically it's the regulator that provides the environment for doing business. And enabling environment is uh, where the facilities are there. And uh, together with the government, as you know, the government now at the moment is very much involved in uh, taking services to the people. We have what we are calling du uh, uh, Huduma Centers, where if you want to get your ID, you want to register a company or a business name, uh, whatever you want to do now, it's very easy because you don't have to go to, uh, to the government offices, which is miles away. You know, you, you get them right next to your village, your small townships and so on. So those are ways of encouraging uh, uh, encouraging innovations, encouraging uh, SMEs uh, to operate because unless you, you, of course, register a business name, you can't start business. The government also benefits in that they are now able to know who is doing which business. So in terms of uh, revenue, in terms of uh, taxes, you are able to pay taxes. They are paying taxes online as well. So, so, so we provide regulatory uh, support. Uh, we manage competition also to make sure that everything uh, uh, is properly done. But more importantly, the government is also now going out to encourage these small entrepreneurs. So really very much uh, forming a, 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 an environment of dem dem democracy and of accountability as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And how is ITU Telecom World helping you to showcase and support SMEs? Um, it's doing a lot. Uh, at the moment, as, uh, if you come to our stand, our pavilion here, you'll find we have these uh, people, uh, young people who've come with very many ideas. Uh, they are showcasing. For example, there is somebody there who is doing a, uh, uh, you know, Ada M. Shamba, where they are, they, they, they are showing how you can grow rice and increase your yield online. I mean, all you do is talk to those rural people who, who, who grow who grow uh, rice and uh, help them to do better, more yields, by giving them ideas and tips of what they are supposed to do. You've got others who are dealing with uh, maternal health care. From the time uh, a, a rural woman is uh, pregnant to the time she gives birth, she's told what to do, what to take, at what point, and eventually after giving birth, they are taken care of, or online. Is the advice given by these young people using uh, ICT? And it's, it's, it's very good. We also got uh, others uh, calling themselves Darasa or something like that to do with education. They, they communicate with their peers, with their equals about various issues to do with the education and training and so on. And I was very excited yesterday as I was walking around. I found that because I'm a real estate developer, I found uh, if I can't get uh, somebody to rent my, uh, my flat, I can go to some of those young guys and get all my details and from there, uh, you find that uh, I will be able to get uh, a tenant for my house. And this was not there before. This is all online. It's come in ICT and it's a great achievement. Evidently, you're showcasing some very interesting and innovative uh, projects and, uh, and uh, startup companies yeah. and SMEs uh, on the very impressive and uh, beautiful Kenya pavilion here. Yes. I wanted to ask you, what's the benefit of Kenya being at, at this event? 
there are very many benefits. For example, basically benchmarking. We are learning what we don't know. We are also telling them what they don't know. A lot of people ask us about M-Pesa, the, the mobile money transfer system. And they know Kenya was among the first countries to come up with this, and it's become very... So there are very many things we discussed. We've also visited other stands, and we've learned some things that we didn't know. So I think it's a good idea. When I went to uh, the last conference, I mean, the other ITU out in uh, Bang Bangkok, I found when we were talking about 2G, 3G, there were some people from Korea and others who were saying they are looking at uh, 5G. I mean, you know, so there's a lot of, we, we learn a lot and we help each other. So it's very good to be here to learn uh, more about uh, uh, the things that other people are doing. And finally, is there a message that you would like to convey to the participants here at ITU Telecom World and also to our viewers online? Yes, I think the most important thing is uh, we must work, all of us, very, very hard to make sure that uh, everybody is connected. Uh, obviously, the GDP uh, growth is a result of ICT, is there for all to see. So the more we, we, we connect everybody else online, the more we get uh, our networks everywhere in the remote areas and all that, it is good for the, the industry. So I would urge all the participants when they go back to work very hard, which, whether it's through Universal Service Fund or whichever means, that make sure that everybody is highly connected. Mr. Gitugu, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.